One of the most common questions we get is how hot does composite decking get? And does the brand of the composite decking matter? So this video is all about that. We have four different brands of composite deck. On the left, we have Trex. The second column here, we have decorators. The third column is timber tech. And the fourth column is true north. This video is all going to be about uh, checking with an infrared gun on the temperature differences between the different brands of composite decking. It's a beautiful fall day, 60 degrees today. These boards have been out in the sun for five hours. There's not a cloud in the sky today, bright, beautiful skies. All boards have been sitting out here to have a control test. I will spoil alert here is, is that it doesn't come down to the brand of composite decking. It comes down to the shade. If you have, if you pick a darker color for your deck, naturally it's going to feel a little warmer. If you pick a lighter color, it's going to feel a little cooler. If you're not a barefoot walker on your deck, the concept of how hot their composite deck could get is less significant for those that may walk around on your deck barefoot, have more direct sun than um, uh, less landscaping, maybe less uh, a sun cover. Or if you have dogs with uh, that go out on your deck uh, and it's a, a direct sun, I would suggest a more cooler color to your composite deck. But we're gonna dive into this a little deeper with an infrared temperature gun and check each brand of composite decking and compare them one to the other. Now, naturally each brand, each manufacturer has slightly different colors. So I've done my best to try to match up similar colors, like colors from one brand to the next. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be the closest that we can do from one brand to the next. So again, the left column, we have Trex. The second column, we have decorators. The third column is timber tech. And the fourth column is True North. Trex and TimberTech, the first and the third columns here, is a wood plastic composite material. Decorators is a composite of plastic and mineral, crushed limestone. And True North, that last column, is uh, a rice hull base composite deck board. So let's dive into it. <clears throat> You will notice that there are uh, two outliers here on the top and one outlier on the bottom. This outlier uh, from uh, TimberTech was just a little darker than the rest. And then the two up there, decorators and TimberTech, were a little lighter than the rest. We'll still stick an infrared gun on them so you can see, um, but they we won't be able to fairly compare those from one brand to the next. I'm going to stay out of the sun here. All right, so we're picking up 74 degrees here <clears throat> on the Trex. Tempertech, 75. I'm sorry, that was Decorators. Tempertech, 75. And True North, 74, 76. <clears throat> Next color. Try to get this. 74. 73. 73 and 73. Here we are at 72. 73. 74. <clears throat> and 72. All right. So now uh, onto the darker browns. We're at 74. 82, 74, 77, 74. <clears throat> a little bit of a lighter brown. We've got 72, 74, 74, 76, 74. Lighter brown yet. Trex, we got 71. 75 for decorators, 70, TimberTech, 70, True North. 
And the outliers here, got 70 decorators, their lightest board, and Timbertech's lightest board, 66. And the darkest board here from Timbertech, 72. With one exception, I think it was this board here. <clears throat> With one exception, every other board, as far as we can we can compare as evenly as possible between different manufacturers, the temperature differences between brands were within largely two, maybe three degrees. Depending on the color, one brand might have been two degrees warmer on one test and then two degrees cooler on the next test. So I hope that helps comparing different manufacturing brands as closely as we can in a controlled environment outside. Let us know if you have any, any questions. This is Phil Black with Custom Decorations.